Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. Let me out of this hellhole. Basically, just keep banging on the gate. Yeah, he's gonna open a can of whoop ass on us. Ow! Strike him! They didn't even take away our weapon. What a bunch of freaking idiots. Ooh, critical. Nice. Ha ha! So basically we've escaped from our dungeon. Oh, that one only goes up halfway. Oh, there was a treasure in there. I wanted that. Now, there is stuff in here. Uh, you can exit rather quickly from here. Um, but there is treasure and stuff to be found in here. So we're going to explore this place in full. Now, these guys, if you walk exactly in the middle, you can avoid them. Obviously, we're going to fight them because eventually I will screw up and have to fight them. They're annoying to fight. What? That's just creepy, man. Zombie attack! Ow! Ow, oh, critical again? Why am I getting all these criticals? I mean, not that I'm complaining or anything like that, but... Alright, let's check out this cell. Oh, and that one only opens partway too. Damn it. Let's go this way! I didn't want to go that way yet. No, let's go back and go downstairs first. I don't remember the exact way to get out of here. So I'm probably going to be backtracking at some point. Because I want to get everything that's in here. Now there's going to be multiple of these guys. Um, these guards in here. Um, if you do sneak up on them, you can knock them out. Um, some of them will have items you can loot from them, them in the process. Um, alternatively, you can fight them, uh, whatever is best for you. I'm probably going to be in the map fighting most of them. The mid potions uh, carry 200 HP, by the way. I'm probably going to be just fighting most of them for the EXP and the, the tech points and everything like that. But you, could, but you can choose to knock them out. Some of them you can't knock out, but you just got to make sure they don't see you first. So let's kick this guy's butt. Haha! <laughs> Your accuracy sucks, man. I'm like right next to you. I mean, I know in this game, you know, your proximity to the enemy and the size doesn't count. I've noticed a problem with that in all, you know, like all RPGs. It's like you miss even though like the target is like huge or you're like right next to him and you can still miss. But yet like another target that's completely far away you can land like a critical hit on. I mean, obviously, I know the results are determined by, like, random number generators and all that stuff, so... Let's actually fight these guys, but it's still amusing. Now, these are these sentries here, you want to wait until they open their mask to attack them. Because with the mask on, while they're still vulnerable to damage, they have high defense. So you need to wait until they open it, otherwise you're going to be, you know, doing, like, a fourth of the damage or something like that. And they both gave us potions. Nice. So now let's go this way. There he is! Where'd that other guard behind me come from? Oh well. Actually, can I cycle in here? Yes, I can. Right in my spot. Yes, I am floating in mid-air. I am that awesome. I am ninja, man. Alright, that was kind of lame. But whatever. Let's keep going. So now you can use kind of these alcoves here to help you sneak up on the guys if you wish. Mid potion, yeah. Some of the ones in here contain um, 
today that you can move mid potions off them. But obviously if they see you, you know, you can initiate the battle with them, so... Like I said, it really doesn't matter, it's basically personal preference, what you choose. And I'm probably gonna have to potion myself soon. So let's open this! Oh, what the heck, this, this poor guy here! Let's free him! What the hell is he doing in here? Why would they just leave him in here? I mean, you would think if they already put, went to the trouble putting him in the guillotine and just finished the job. Chest! Mid potion. Oh, I gotta open the thing first. I couldn't see the gate there for a second. And there's another chest in here! Bronze armor! Yeah, and these guys will kind of come after you. And of course, my cat wants attention. But she's gonna have to wait, because I've already fed her. Yeah, I'm gonna use a potion once this battle is done. Ow! Jerk. I love how they just, like, wander around. Oh, wait, there you are. And then attack you. Okay, so let's use a potion on Chrono. Um, you can also hit the select button to kind of rearrange your inventory. The things in yellow are things that you can currently use at the moment, so. And we need that. Oh, we already had a bronze armor on. Okay, I guess we'll save that bronze other bronze armor then. Alright, so now let's go up. There's another guy here you can sneak up on, but on this... Okay, I wanted to actually fight him. <coughs> but that's okay. So many bridges here. Alright, we're gonna go down first. Shelter! Alright. Let's see what's in here. What? Yeah, that that's just really random there. Like, you can't loot it or attack it or anything like that. It just kind of turns into a skeleton. So can I avoid these guys? No. About half the time I can avoid them. Oh, no, I was attacking the wrong one. Oh, that's okay. You opened his mask anyway. Usually it targets the enemy on the left first. Man, these guys drop a lot of potions. Why do these keep these door you know, these cells locked if there's nobody in them? There's nothing in that room, by the way. And this one is already open! And there's a giant hole in the wall that apparently no one gives a crap about. So let's climb down! Come on down! You're the next contestant on now. I'm just kidding. Shelter! And a convenient hole! Now that cell and this one right here are the ones that the gate only opened part way. That was where we started, right to the right there. Silver sword! That's not for us, is it? Yes, it is! Always nice. And just hit the A button to climb up back the window there. Or up that giant pole. Get down, Riddell. Now, the first time I played this game, this part pissed me the crap off. Because on this wall, you cannot move left or right unless, obviously, I just walked around the platform there. Those are the only times you can use the left or right button. So when you climb back up, you have to um, adjust yourself so you're climbing up where you can get off. If that makes sense. Because when I first did it, I thought my game was broken. And I'm like, why can't I move here? And this is the way out. Nice. There he is!
I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh yeah. Wee. Oh, you're a wuss. And I love how that page just conspicuously drops off the table. She's like, oh crap. See, at least she came to my rescue. Ooh, a classified document. Then what was it doing sitting on the desk? Dragon tank. Hmm. Would Luca design this? No, no, she didn't. <laughs> so let's save because saving is always a good idea. And if they didn't make it completely obvious, yeah, this is a boss fight coming up. And we should be good. Now keep in mind, because Marl's not in our party, or nor do we have Frog anymore, we have no healing spells, so we need to rely on potions for any healing. Or save points. What? I don't know. We just read this giant note about a dragon tank. I wonder what it could be. Oh my god, it's a giant robot dragon tank! Why does this bridge not collapse from the weight of this? Arr! Okay! Uh, hopefully this thing will remain paused while I'm in this menu because I still have it on weight. Basically there's three parts of the dragon tank. There is the head, the wheel, and the body. You want to go and kick the crap out of this thing. And the head is going to repair the damage. So you may want to attack the head first. But like the note said, you cannot attack it with fire. So fire world isn't going to really do you much good here. I just did the, um, da 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 cycle in there just to show you the relative damage and everything and what you could do with it so in other words I know I was up there I did it on purpose now like I said keep an eye on your HP because you don't have any healing spells so you require you know you have to single target with potions throughout this battle so at this point I'm gonna since Luca um, her best obviously attack is her fire which the head is impervious to we're gonna use her as focus on, on healing, so. And Potion Chrono, because he's my heavy hitter. And the wheels will occasionally store energy for a charge, like it said. Basically, that's basically saying it's gonna run me over again. So you potion yourself. And of course, the head is gonna continuously repair damage to the whole thing, unless you destroy it. There we go. Alright, now we can go all out on this bitch. But first, um, no, you potion yourself. And I'm gonna cyclone here. And then as soon as we both get our turn back. We're gonna fire all this thing. Hopefully we'll do more damage that way. Oh yeah. Ow! Actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna have Chrono potion himself first. And I'm gonna have her potion him too. I like to play it safe here, so... Because I can't remember offhand how much HP this thing has. Obviously, you already know because it will be posted on the video annotations, but. Oh, there we go. Apparently, we took the wheels and the body out in the same stroke. And I love how he just cleaves the thing with his sword. Epic explosion! Yes, I stuck a sword in it and caused it to explode. It must have 
simultaneously, you know, pierced the gas tank and ignited the flames. Ha ha! I'm gonna teabag you guys. No. Chest! Shelter! No, so chest on there. I thought there might, there might have been. Run away! Yes, I have a gun and a sword. You stand no chance against me. I just took out a bunch of guards, and why am I running away from you, idiots? They're escaping! No! Oh, doesn't she look pretty? Where have we heard that line before? How did you get here? How did you get here? You were hanging by your, you know, literally hanging by a thread off a bridge outside two seconds ago. What? Deus Ex not gonna bullshit much? But he's innocent! Yes, doesn't she have the right to, you know, not let an innocent man be murdered? You tell that asshole. Oh my god, you're... Oh, overbearing father much. That's right. Let's run away. Because I'm a Disney princess and I'm not satisfied with my life outside inside the palace. Oh, you better be sad. You know, she just ran away. Yes, by just standing there, they are blocking our way. Even though all three of us have weapons and could easily kick your asses. Anyway, you're basically just stuck. Running this way. You know, plot exposition and all that crap. And a gate is just sitting here in the middle of nowhere. Apparently, I guess we need Lucas Gate Key to even see the gates because we were here 20 minutes ago and nothing of the such was here. You won't be able to get back. We didn't have any problem getting back. We only got transported the other time with the gate key, so... What are you worried about now, Luca? I mean, I love this game and all, but there's just so many things that don't make sense. I and mean, of course, I could say that about every game, and I complain about everything, so don't take that as a negative view of the game. This game is awesome, and you should totally buy it. I'm just the kind of person who complains about everything. Because that's just how I roll. I love the, the, the jaw-dropping animation there. Where the hell are we? Ow! Oh, I love how she just... brushes the dirt off her ass there. Nice. Yes, you got that, but it's by looking at a door. Hmm. So, what's going on here? Where the hell are we? Uh, by the way, if you go back in the gate here, um, everyone will still be waiting there for you to capture you, so going out through this gate is not an option. Um, there's no point in really showing that because it's just pointless. But where the hell are we? How the hell are we going to get back? What are we going to do now? I mean, can we ever return home? Are they going to, even if we bide our time here, are they still going to be waiting for us later? You're going to have to find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger DS. See you later.